So this question, just by looking at it, looks like it's going to be a translate word problem just because of the length of the question itself. But we also have these two equations with two unknowns here, which should bring to mind the possibility, possibility of using elimination, which I'll just say elim, or substitution, which I'll just write as sub. All right, so let's read it and see exactly what we really need to do to solve the question. In the equations above, B and C represent the price per pound in dollars of beef and chicken. So I'm going to write that down. B equals beef and C is chicken. I'll just say chick. All right, so respectively, X weeks after July 1st during last summer. So X is weeks. So again, I'm just translating what I write. I'm making sure that I'm fully aware of what all the variables represent. Basically, I'm fully aware of, what, of, of what every, everything that I'm reading, so I don't have to go back and reread it. What was the price per pound of beef when it was equal to the price per pound of chicken? Okay, so it seems that we're told that these two equations, B and C, represent the price per pound for beef, for this one, and for chicken for this one. So if we're asked when they were equal, then I should set them equal to each other and solve for x um, because that will give me the, the price or that'll, t that'll tell me how many weeks after July 1st they were equal, which will then help me define the price. So I'll start off by just saying or just translating what the question actually asked for, which is b equals c when. And once I find the when, because that's what I'll be able to solve for in that case x, then I want to find out what, what was that cost at that time. So to set b equal to c, I have 2.35 plus 0.25x is equal to 1.75 plus 0.40x. When I simplify that further, I can uh, subtract 1.75 from both sides, and I can subtract 0.25x from both sides. And all together, then I'd get 60 or 0.60 here, that's gone, is equal to, um, that is gone, is equal to 0.15x, 0.15x. Dividing both sides by 0 0.15, I get that 4 is equal to x. So that lets me know that beef, the price of beef and the price of chicken are actually equal to each other at four weeks um, after July 1st. So even if you didn't catch the fact that you were not just trying to solve for x here by reading the question, Hopefully you'd see, well, because you don't get four as even a possible answer here, that you need to go back and, and make sure that you understand um, what's really being asked. A lot of students make the mistake of just choosing a number that's closest to what they have, and I think that's a really bad decision. Always go back, check your math, make sure you've done the math correctly, didn't add anything incorrectly, didn't subtract anything incorrectly. If you trust that, then any number that you get that's not listed just means that you haven't fully understood the question. So in this case, because X is the weeks after July 1st, that's all we really know right now is four weeks. So if I want to determine the cost now, I know that I have X equals four, so I can just figure out the cost based upon filling in four for X. So I can use either uh, the B equation or the C equation because they both should be equal at this point. So I'm going to use B. Um, so I'd have 2.35 plus 0 0.25 times 4. So 0 0.25 times 4 is 1. So I'd have 2.35 plus 1. And 2.35 plus 1 is 3.35. So that means it was $3.35 at the point at which beef and chicken were equal to each other, which is choice D.